Hey everybody, coming to you live right here from my basement bathroom toilet, but just a few short months ago, none of this was here. So in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to add a basement bathroom toilet, and that's going to include the under slab plumbing, the supply piping, installing the actual toilet flange on the concrete, installing the toilet, and then a few of the final touches to get us to where we are now. So if that sounds like a royal flush, I'm sorry, I had to do it. Let's get right into step one and cover the toilet plumbing, both the under slab plumbing and the supply piping. Before you can start demolishing your basement slab and installing the under slab plumbing, you need to plan things out. So we're gonna put our toilet right there and we're gonna run the drain line to our main sewer stack, which is shown right here. I was fortunate because I could just do a gravity drain from the toilet to my main sewer stack, but in some applications, you might need to install a sewer pump kit or an upflow toilet, but we're going by gravity here. Now, although I usually do all of my own projects and plumbing myself, and I did a whole bathroom remodel upstairs, for this project, I figured it was worth it just to pay $2,000 to have a plumber come in and do the demolition of the slab and install all of the under slab plumbing. Here's a look at the three inch PVC fittings that they placed to establish the layout. And that is where the toilet is gonna to be placed. So after they removed the cast iron pipe and hooked everything up, they installed a check valve or also a backflow preventer valve to make sure that flow is going out to the street, but that it won't come back in. Then after setting the rest of the piping, making sure that they have the required slope, they backfilled the area with concrete. After the contractor backfilled around the plumbing with concrete, here's what we looked like preliminarily. And here is the three inch stub up for the toilet flange that we're gonna install later. But in the meantime, I went and I framed the rest of the bathroom walls. And because we're installing a 10 inch rough in toilet, I positioned the back wall 10 and a half inches from the center of the pipe, because once we add the half inch drywall, that'll be 10 inches away from the wall. I have a dedicated video on wall framing, which I'll link down below. Now, as you can see here where the concrete was backfilled, it was incredibly uneven. So I had to apply a self-leveling underlayment to get the area under the toilet perfectly level. I also have a dedicated video on that, which I'll link down below. Now, as far as the supply piping, the contractor installed half inch CPVC, which is gonna connect to the toilet fill valve. In terms of where to position this, move it six inches over and then seven inches up where you wanna position that pipe through the wall. Now at this point in the project, I went back, installed drywall, painted the walls, then I cut off the supply pipe coming into the bathroom at a distance from the wall that would accommodate this angle valve. Obviously, I shut off the water supply to the bathroom first. After cutting the pipe, I deburred any of the rough edges and then I applied some PVC primer and CPVC glue and pushed the angle valve into place. I like to hold the valve for around 15 to 30 seconds just to make sure that solvent weld is strong. With the initial plumbing out of the way, let's move on to step two, which is installing the toilet flange. To accomplish this, we're going to need to cut off that three inch stub flush with the floor so that we can install this three inch closet flange, which is gonna be attached to the inside of that pipe. To cut that three inch PVC pipe flush with the floor, you have a couple options. One, you could use an oscillating tool. You could also probably use a hacksaw, but I think it would be difficult to get it perfectly flush. So I opted to use a reciprocating saw with a long enough blade where I could bend it so that it would be completely flush with the floor and just scribe and run right across it as you can see here. Make sure that when you cut off the pipe, it doesn't fall down into the actual drain. That's a joke, guys. After cutting the three inch PVC pipe flush with the floor, you're gonna deburr it and get rid of any rough edges just like we did before. And now we can prepare to install the closet flange. But before doing that, I installed LVP flooring in my bathroom and I have a dedicated video for that if you wanna check it out. To install the closet flange, I placed it within the pipe to preliminarily mark the locations for the anchor bolts, which are gonna go down through the closet flange and into the concrete. Because it's concrete, we need to use Tapcon screws, which are made for concrete. And you're also going to need a carbide tip drill bit and a hammer drill to pre-drill into the concrete. I'll link all of these tools and materials down in the description, but you wanna make sure that you mark the depth for your actual drill bit so you don't go too deep. I did that for the first hole and then moved over and repeated that process for the second anchor bolt which is going to hold that toilet flange in place after drilling i removed any dust with a vacuum then i immediately started applying the purple primer to the inside of the pipe and also the outside of the closet flange this purple primer will stain anything so make sure you put stuff down if you're worried about it dripping after priming i applied pvc cement glue to the inside of the pipe and the outside of the closet flange just like we did for the primer and then i positioned the flange in place pushed it down into that three inch pipe and made sure that the pre-drilled holes were in line with the penetrations in the closet flange. Again, hold that in place for like 30 seconds to make sure everything sets up properly. After giving the PVC 
PVC glue enough time to dry, you're gonna take your Tapcon screws and you're gonna screw down the flange into place. Make sure that you adjust the torque settings on your drill so you don't over tighten. With the closet flange anchored to the concrete slab, it's time to install our seal. And instead of doing a traditional wax ring, I'm gonna install this wax-free toilet seal for this basement bathroom toilet. To install this, you start with the gasket and then you're gonna put in the foam seal. Since we're above the finished floor, we only need one seal, but if you're below, they give you a second foam seal ring to fill that gap. But since we don't need it, we're gonna take off the seal ring and then we're gonna put our Johnny bolts into the closet flange and then they come with these washers that are gonna help to hold them in place. With the Johnny bolts in place, it's time to take our wax-free seal again and we're gonna thread that over the Johnny bolts and then we're gonna put on our foam seal. And at this point, we're ready to install the toilet. To install the toilet, you're gonna grab it firmly and then you're gonna place it on top of the Johnny bolts, making sure that it goes in on both sides. And you wanna make sure that the horn at the bottom of the toilet fits where it should, contacting the wax seal, or in our case, the wax free seal properly. As you can see here, the Johnny bolts are coming up through the bottom of the toilet and the toilet should be resting flush on the floor. But if it's not and it's wobbling, chances are the toilet is not sitting where it should on the closet flange and the seal. So you may need to reposition. Once you're confident that the toilet is installed properly, place the washer over the Johnny bolt and tighten it in place using the nuts. Be careful not to over tighten because you could crack the toilet bowl. Also, if your floor is not perfectly level, you may need to install shims either at the front or the back of the toilet to make sure that your toilet is perfectly level and secure in place without wobbling. Once the base of the toilet is installed, it's time to install the tank, and the tank is gonna be attached to the base using these three gasketed bolts. So we're gonna pick up the tank and we're gonna position it so that those three bolts go through the three penetrations on the toilet base. And once each of the three bolts is installed properly, we'll go on the underside and we'll tighten those up using a washer and a nut that came with the toilet. And again, be sure not to over tighten because you could crack the bowl. Lastly, make sure that the tank is perfectly level. Okay, we're at the home stretch here. It's time for the finishing touches to finish up this basement bathroom toilet installation. First off, we need to install our supply hose, which is gonna connect from the angle valve to the fill valve on the toilet. And you wanna flush the line first just to make sure there's no debris in it. Then you're gonna hook it up to the bottom side of the toilet, just like so. I'll link this hose down in the description. Next up, if your Johnny bolts are a little bit too long, you need to cut them down, and I recommend a hacksaw or you can use a sawzaw, just be careful not to damage the toilet. Then you can cover the Johnny bolt using the decorative cap that comes with the toilet. Next, slowly open the fill valve and observe the tank as it fills with water to make sure that there are no leaks near the bolts. After the tank is full, you can give it a test by flushing it, and you wanna make sure at this point that there's no leaks on the underside of the toilet on both sides. We're good on that side and we're also good on the other side, which is good news. At this point, you can put on the tank cover and you can install an escutcheon where the supply line comes through the wall. Next up, you'll need to install the toilet seat, which is relatively straightforward. And finally, you can caulk the bottom of the toilet if you want. Some people choose not to do that, so the choice is yours. All right, let's take a look at the final result. Alright guys, that is a wrap on this video. If it helped you out, I really would appreciate if you could drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you want to see how I did the rest of this basement bathroom. Thanks for watching, I'll see you on the next one.